Presenting Brenda Briel and Atira Najwa from P12, P2, P8. Hi guys, welcome to our video. So today we are going to present about three ways of carbon dioxide transportation. Let's watch it. There are three ways of carrying carbon dioxide from tissues to the respiratory surfaces. The first one is 10% of carbon dioxide dissolved in blood plasma. Secondly, 30% as carbaminohemoglobin. And the third one is 60% transported in RBC as bicarbonate ion and moved to blood plasma. In 10% of carbon dioxide dissolved in blood plasma, I will explain to you about in respiring tissue and also in avian. Oh, I will also explain about the 30% as carbaminohemoglobin in the same slide. <laughs> so firstly, the 10% of carbon dioxide will dissolve in blood plasma. Not just that, the carbon dioxide can go into plasma and combine with water to form H2CO3 that is carbonic acid. The H2CO3 will dissociate into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. The reaction is slow because there is no enzyme. And it's also happened at outside of the red blood cell. For the 30% of carbon dioxide, we can call it as carbaminohemoglobin. This is because the carbon dioxide combined with amino group of hemoglobin to form carbaminohemoglobin. While in alveoli, the carbon dioxide that dissolve in plasma will diffuse out to the alveolus. The H2CO3 will also convert it back to carbon dioxide in a reversible direction and go to alveolus. For the 30% of carbon dioxide, the carbaminohemoglobin will dissociate to form hemoglobin and carbon dioxide before transport to alveolus. Next, I'm going to present about 60% of carbon dioxide transported in RBC as bicarbonate ion and moved to blood plasma. I will explain more detail about transportation of 60% carbon dioxide in respiring tissue and also in alveoli. In respiring tissue, CO2 from tissue diffuses into plasma and enter erythrocyte. CO2 will combine with H2O to form carbonic acid, which is H2CO3, that catalyzed by carbonic anhydrase. Then, H2CO3 will dissociate into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. The bicarbonate ion diffuses out of erythrocyte. Next, it will be transported in blood plasma to alveoli. As bicarbonate ion diffuses out from erythrocyte, the charge will be positive. After that, diffusion of chloride from the dissociation of sodium chloride into erythrocyte, so the chloride shift occurs. The function of chloride shift is to maintain electrochemical neutrality in blood. In the meantime, the increase of hydrogen ion in erythrocyte make it more acidic. HP from dissociation of oxyhemoglobin combined with hydrogen ion forming hemoglobinic acid HHB to prevent a decrease in pH. While in alveoli, HCO3 diffuses into erythrocyte. The hydrogen ion from HHB combines with HCO3 to form carbonic acid, which is H2CO3. The carbonic anhydrase reaction proceeds in reverse direction, converting carbonic acid into H2O and CO2. So, CO2 diffuses out of the erythrocyte and moves into the alveolar space. <laughs> 